Okay, this is my wife's 1965 Mustang, and that's a vacuum gauge. Um, I picked it up at a garage sale for two dollars. It's an older uh, Penske vacuum gauge, and you know it's it's metal. It's it'll probably last a lifetime, as opposed to the modern day vacuum gauge. So anyway, um, if you're having some tuning problems, if you can't get your car to run quite right, the vacuum gauge is your friend. So I have placed a T into my vacuum advance vacuum line that goes over to manifold vacuum. Um, my ported vacuum actually goes down to my um, transmission, my uh, modulator. Um, so anyway, you want to be around 20. The red, the red arrow is actually uh, spins around and goes to approximately 20. It can be a little lower, I believe down to 16, that's pretty low, or 22, and that's on the higher side. But you should be right around 20 when you fire this car up, plugged into your vacuum line to your um, manifold vacuum. So, and then you can, uh, you can adjust your timing. You want the maximum vacuum possible. And also, when you're looking at this vacuum gauge and it's hanging from the, the hood like this, you can kind of tell when you're adjusting your timing, when you're turning it uh, clockwise and counterclockwise, retarding and advancing, because the gauge will vibrate on top of the fact you're looking at the needle. So you want to achieve the most mercury per inch that you can, adjusting your timing, your idle screw, and your uh, mixture screws. And also, the timing gauge will kind of rattle around as the car is running, and the, the less rattling around it does, the smoother the engine is getting. So on top of vacuum, you can just kind of judge by uh, the shaking of the vacuum gauge, which is kind of handy. Okay, so generally, while you're doing this, you're turning your idle mixture screw on the right, bottom it out, and it's going to run crappy, and then turn it back out uh, probably to one turn, one revolution and kind of go from there. So keep on turning it counterclockwise until you achieve the highest, I guess, idle slash vacuum. And then you go over to your right screw or your left screw. And that's probably preset. You've preset that out about one turn. So and then you slowly turn that counterclockwise until you achieve the highest idle slash most vacuum. So then after that, go back over here and just try to just turn it a little bit clockwise, a little bit counterclockwise and get, achieve your highest idle and then do it again over here. And then set your idle down to uh, whatever your specs or however you like it after that and the gauge You can get a chart offline which uh, will appear on the screen right now And that chart shows if you have a sticking valve uh, you, you name it it shows what your um, ailment might be on that chart whether the needle is dancing around or sweeping or you just have a lack of vacuum that chart will show you how to do it and uh, I just want to do a quick video on the vacuum gauge it's a very valuable tool and I, I use it a lot thanks for watching